during a day, an individual is expected to use 135 liters of water. A lot of it goes as wastewater away from our house and gets into rivers and streams and pollutes it. Let's see where the water is going out. Washing clothes consumes a lot of water, but a water efficient washing machine like this one, which is front loading, is a good option to save water. This uses 60 liters for a full load. If we are three persons in a family, that's 20 liters per person per day for washing clothes. But what happens to this gray water? This gray water ends up in our sewage lines or ends up in our water bodies. How do we prevent it? A big question. The other question is with bathing water. Well, you draw a bath and you use 15 liters of water every day. You soap yourself and the soap water also goes out. What happens to this soap water? This too ends up in our water bodies. Now how do we use both these waters, the washing machine water and the bath water, biologically treat it well and make good use of it? Here's what you do. Collect the grey water in a tank. This is the water coming from the washing machine and the bath that we have had. Pump the grey water using a small half HP pump into our beautiful blue drum. Look at the drum, it has cattails and reeds from our legs. There are five such drums full of reeds. The reeds take away the nutrients from the detergent and make the water clean. Take a look at the water inside the drum. Once the reeds do their job, you pipe the water out and what do you do? You grow paddy on your terrace. Paddy takes this grey water and converts it to rice, something that we eat. Take a look at what's happening here on the roof. This is a constructed wetland. There are guppy fishes gobbling up the mosquitoes in the water. Paddy is being grown here and the paddy is then planted. This is all happening on the terrace, mind you. And that portion is not green. And I'll tell you why. Look at the paddy there. The water is clear. And then when you come here, you see slightly green, but the paddy is growing well. That's because this paddy gets urine from the ecosan as a fertilizer. And when urine comes in, it has excellent nitrogen, phosphorus and potash elements in it. And the paddy grows really well, but the water also has algae growing in it. Don't worry, this is extremely nutritious and extremely good use of human waste as a resource. Mm -hmm.